Accessing a network is something, well, we all do, whether it's at home or at work. And um, if you're a Mac user, then you're used to a certain kind of uh, ac accessing a Mac type network uh, or maybe an SMB network. And I don't know about you, but I always had problems, especially trying to access a Windows network uh, from the Mac. And what I found is that, um, well, <laughs> accessing a network is easier on Windows, especially a Windows network on Windows. Um, but one thing that was always bugging me was having to put in my login and uh, uh, credentials every single freaking time. That just drove me nuts. And then I found this little thing where you can put it in. It's like Keychain. If you're used to working with Keychain, very similar uh, to Keychain, uh, but a lot less messy. I found that after, you know, four or five years, my Keychain was full of uh, out-of-date stuff. Now what I'm connecting to here is a Lassie 5 Big NAS Pro. It's a uh, network area storage device. And, and I also have a Drobo, which is, they're fantastic. But what's cool about the uh, Lassie NAS Pro is it's a server. It's a real bona fide NT server running and it serves up to Mac and Windows. So I'll show you how that works in a second, but let's just talk about credentials. Let's get started. All right, I'm just gonna go to my network and select that and you can see it starts to load. And there it is, there's the NAS Pro, uh, the five big, it's called the Vault. And if I double click on that, I've got different uh, shares inside here. And I'm gonna go for my share in here. And when I double click on that, of course it's gonna ask me for my Windows security password and login. And I can put that in and, and get in there, but I wanna show you an easier way to do this. I'm just gonna to go to my start menu and uh, type CERD for credentials. I'm not gonna use this one at the top. I'm using this control panel. This is the credential manager. And by default, it starts on these web credentials. I'm gonna to go to Windows credentials and there's three different choices down here. Uh, add a Windows credential, certificate-based credential, and I'll just click on that just to show you that if I open up the certificate manager, it takes me into a serious place where I can load certificates and things like that. Not unlike Keychain, when you're working with Keychain on Mac OS X and you can be uh, loading in credentials to allow you to uh, access stuff. Down at the bottom, there's generic ones. I'm gonna add a Windows credential. And when you click on this, you might be scratching your head and say, well, I know what my username and password is. Well, what the heck is the uh, location of this guy here? So here's a little easy tip. Uh, I'm gonna right click on that and choose map network drive and you can see there's the name of the map network drive and it's very important for you to uh, I can't copy it unfortunately uh, but I can leave that up and type that in so backslash backslash all caps the vault backslash lowercase my share I'll put in my uh, name and my password and I only have to do this once, click OK, and that's in there now. So when I close that up, now when I go back here and double click, yay, boom, that easy. So obviously you can do it for each one of those network shares that you've got. Um, and it, they just, from now on, they open up. You do it on, on each machine, double click, and it opens up. It's those little things that, that just make it so much better. Now. Let's talk about mounting uh, volumes, which is uh, similar again to Mac OS X, but uh, it's pretty rudimentary for Windows users to do this. All right, so here is file history. Um, it's in the control panel. Right now it's turned off for this machine. This runs identical to Time Machine without the stupid spacey kind of <clears throat> oh great, my files are in space, which I never freaking understood. Um, it, you get rid of the elaborate goofiness, it just backs stuff up. And right now, this machine that I'm demoing on isn't backed up, but I have two other machines backed up. And to do that, like late at night, um, you'd want to make sure that that volume is, backed, is, is mounted to be able to do that. So I'll choose Map Network Drive, uh, give it a name in here. Um, so let me just choose... Uh, for whatever reason, N, and I can choose reconnect at sign in, and I could choose different uh, uh, credentials. Uh, I'm not going to do this just for my demo purposes. And it mounts, and you can see there's my um, HP DV7, 
and my Lenovo Yoga, Yoga. And both of these are just mounting inside here. And you can see that, you know, there's my users and there's everything that I'm doing inside there. So it works exactly like Time Machine. In fact, speaking of Time Machine, let's actually go in and, and uh, look here. You can see there's my wife who's running her MacBook Pro upstairs. She's actually backing up to the 5 Big NAS Pro, the Lassie uh, network from her Mac. So you just choose a, a local drive on the network, um, which I named uh, her, her Time Machine network, and she's backing up. I'm backing up down here on win two Windows machines. She's backing upstairs uh, on her Mac. The cool thing about uh, the 5 Big is the fact that, well, it's so damn cheap. <laughs> You might think when you look at this price, and this is the price as of today, $529, I got mine for $499. Um, this is with no discs in it, so you grab some off-the-shelf drives. I just grabbed a bunch of Western Digital 2 terabyte drives. Um, it's got uh, five bays in the back. You can use one, two, three. You can add to them. It's got fault protection. It's RAID 5. You can, um, you know run this just like a normal uh, network storage but also a RAID. It's fast enough on my HP Z800 when I'm connected through uh, gigabit ethernet I can actually edit HD video off of that when it's on the NAS Pro. It's pretty darn cool and here's the dashboard that you get. This is fan freaking tastic. You can see there's my nine shares that I've got. There's my backup for my two machines. There's my full iTunes uh, um, music library locally for streaming. There's uh, my wife's um, time machine. There's a whole bunch of photos. There's a public folder, of a bunch of videos, uh, and then mine and her backup inside there. Uh, we can also look at the hardware monitoring. So this is going to monitor the hardware. It tells me everything's okay. Uh, tells me each one of the drives is okay. So this is like one of those systems that if a drive went down, it would warn you and you pull out a drive and you stick in a replacement and everything is happy and wonderful. Um, just ready to go. Uh, it's connected uh, through the LAN over there on the other side, and um, I just have it plugged into um, a gigabit Ethernet switch, and then the switch is going to my uh, Airport Extreme. Do not plug the NAS Pro directly into the uh, airport because it steps the speed down considerably. It's nowhere near as fast, which um, you think, hey, there's a there's an Ethernet cable on my uh, Airport Extreme. No, 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 no. Plug the switch into the Extreme, plug the uh, NAS Pro into the switch, um, and then you're set and ready to go. And let's go have a look at the general settings inside here. And what's cool about this is it's going to show you all the different protocols that are supported. Here's SMB. Um, there's Apple Filing Protocol. I have the NFS, which is for Unix and Linux, turned off. FTP, Secure FTP, and something called iSCSI. But uh, primarily it's uh, SMB and AFP inside here. And then there's Application Services. You can see there's Time Machine uh, set up ready to go. Uh, there's your regular streaming uh, protocols, iTunes. There's a print server if you wanted to. Uh, and even a BitTorrent download machine inside here. So uh, I just wanted to give you, you know, a quick glimpse of credentials that I'm, I use 50,000 times, uh, you know, a month, double clicking, open things up, uh, but also just give you a glimpse of a really awesome uh, uh, network storage. Remember, this thing has a server inside it. It doesn't require a computer to be connected to it. You literally uh, pull it out of the box, you slap in one to five drives, you plug the, in the power in, and you plug it into your gigabit switch, and before you know it, you're sharing to Mac and Windows, and on my uh, S4, my Galaxy S4, my Samsung phone, I can actually access that same uh, NAS Pro. You can't do that on iOS because Apple's got to bug up their ass about that. But that is a quick look how to get the most and best use out of your local storage.